This is a brief video on searching the Emerald database and exporting references to RefWorks. Before you use any resources, you need to be logged on to the university portal, so I'll log in. I want to use resources, so I'll click on the resources tab here. Log into RefWorks, because I want to store any references that I find. This is my RefWorks account. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder, a new folder called Emerald Search and any material that I find I'm going to place into that folder so that's a folder created. Go back to the portal I now need to get into the Emerald database so to get into databases I go to this online list this is just a simple list of all the databases that are available to you at Sterling you can then filter the list by particular subjects so I'm going to filter this list by management and here are the databases that we think are useful for finding material in um, management. And here's the Emerald database, which is a full text database that I'm going to show you how to search today. Here's the screen. It defaults to the search screen. I want to look for items related to leadership within the NHS in Scotland. So leadership, National Health Service, and I'm going to put that in inverted commas. Or, of course, people may refer to it as NHS. And I'm only interested in Scotland or Scottish. Make sure I've not made any spelling mistakes there. And click on the search button. The database goes off, has a search and says it's found 53 results that have got something to do with leadership within the NHS and in Scotland. You might think 53 results is fine. If you think it's too large, you can go back and modify your search. I'm going to say, well, actually, I'm only interested in articles that were published since 2000 onwards. Get it to search again. That reduces the search down to 34. If I click here, I can view all 34 of them on the screen. Here they are. Now, because this is a full text database, I can just simply view the full text by clicking on the view PDF. Here it is here. You can then print that, save it, etc. as you will. So that's the... the the great boon of Emerald is that it's full text immediate and we have all of the material that you're going to find. Now, I did say I was going to export these to RefWorks. So what I'm going to do is to select some of the particular articles that I'm interested in by clicking on these boxes here and then create a list of them, a marked list. So let's choose these six, seven items on this page here. And then I can add to this marked list. Click Go. And it tells me that it will add those to a marked list. It's being a bit slow about doing that, but it will do it, we hope. Here we are. It says I can have a maximum of 10 and I've currently got 7, so that's fine. So let me just go and look at my marked list. Here it is here. Here's the marked list. And here are the options of what I can do. This is the, here, the title of the things that I've marked. And here's the export options. Click on the export option, export to RefWorks, because RefWorks is the, the bibliographic um, software management that we use. You can see the RefWorks tab at the top of the page flashing here. That's because some information has been exported from Emerald into RefWorks. I want to view those last um, references that came in. Here they are. That's the seven of them that I found in Emerald. I then want to move those to my Emerald search folder. Click here, oops, I need to click, select them all, and then move them to my Emerald Search, and those are now in my folder called Emerald Search, of which there are seven items. I can simply go back to my Emerald Search here. If I want to look at this, go back to the search screen, I can click here, and here's the search screen. So the benefit of Emerald is that it's full text, you immediately find material straight away. Um, let me just do an, uh, another quick search on clinical skills and mentoring. Again, let's quickly go and have a look and see how much it comes up with. Finds 325. Clearly that's much too many, so I'm going to modify that a little bit. Clinical skills, mentoring. I could say I'm only interested in Scotland or Scottish again. That's found 15. Now, if I want to um, export these, I think actually what I should best do first is go to my marked list 
and delete the ones that are currently in my marked list. Confirm that I want to do that. Let's go back to my marked list. Well, it hasn't remembered my, my search, unfortunately, but let's just do that again. Mentoring. Clinical skills. Scotland or Scottish. Okay, so it's found 15 this time, which is fine. I'm going to view them all. Now, I can't export all those 15, but I can do 10 at a time. So let me just pick those. Six, seven, nine, ten. Add to my mark list. Hopefully it will say. Here we are. I've now got those 10 in my marked list. Choose my export option. Export to RefWorks. My RefWork tab is flashing here. Select that. View last imported folder. Here's the 10. And I would go through the same process again of add to. So make sure you've selected all of the things that are in that folder there and say I want to move those to my Emerald search and it will update that folder and add those two searches together to create a large Emerald search folder. So that means at the end, if I go to my folders, I'll just look at my Emerald search folder here. Now it's actually taking quite a while to update that folder but it will do it. Once you've got a folder, you can create a bibliography Defaults to all your references, but we don't want that. We want my. So you can see here, it's also it's now updated that Emerald Search. There are now 17 items in it. That's what I want to create a bibliography of. I can choose whichever type of citation style I want. I think we'll have Harvard British Standard. It's my Emerald Search. Create bibliography, and there's a bibliography of those 18 items that I found within um, Emerald. You can then. Select those, copy and paste them into your Word document or whatever, so you've immediately got your bibliography ready for you. So that's how to search Emerald and create a RefWorks bibliography.